welcome to our Facebook Live edition. So it's January, the holidays are done. Everyone is probably pretty full of cheese platters. Um, I know that uh, Becky and I were talking before we got started on all of the appetizers and cheese platters. They were wonderful, but we're kind of in the mood now to move on to something a little lighter, a little fresher, uh, not so heavy. And um, that's why we're gonna do this quinoa salad tonight. We're actually gonna do two recipes and I believe they're both posted. So you can follow along. I hope you had a chance to get to the olive scene and pick up some of the ingredients. What we're using tonight is um, our tangerine uh, balsamic vinegar. This is our flavor of the month. So the base of this is our traditional 18 year balsamic vinegar and it has been infused with tangerine essence. It's beautiful. We're also going to use our rosemary olive oil. This is a fresh wild rosemary that has been infused into a pure extra virgin olive oil. Also a little bit of Sicilian lemon vinegar that we're gonna mix with the tangerine when we create the shrimp marinade. It gives a little bit brighter, lighter, a little more acidic. Very nice for that. As well as one other is our pure extra virgin olive oil. This is a Frantoyo Licino. It is a Cuvée blend, so they grow the Frantoyo olives with the Licino olives all in the same grow. Let nature decide what that blend is going to be. Beautiful, fabulous. It's a gold medal winner. If you haven't tasted this, get into the store and taste it. It is beautiful, delicious, incredible. We're going to use it today. So those are the four oils we're going to use. I'm going to go back and forth between the recipes just so that it all comes together at the same time. We're going to start with the marinade for the shrimp. So the shrimp is a fresh shrimp. It's deveined. I did it with the tail on. You can do it with the tail off if you like. Um, and then we're going to get that marinating. You want it to marinate anywhere from 20 minutes, no more than an hour, because remember, a vinegar uh, is a tenderizer. That's why we use it in marinades for meats and things, and it will help soften and break down the meat. It will do the same thing with fish. So if you leave it on too long, your fish is going to get very, very, very soft. And it's not going to have a nice firm feel. And with shrimp, we like it to have a nice firm feel. So uh, marinate, starting with my fabulous, wonderful vinaigrette pitcher, which I know every time I'm on Facebook Live, I tell you how much I love. The seasoning goes in first. This is going to be the marinade for the shrimp. So a nice grind of pepper. This is our flaked Italian sea salt. I really like this sea salt because it is a little different than usual. Sea salts have no iodine. This does have the iodine added, which is a good mineral for everyone to have. I also put in a little bit. I did not have fresh rosemary. I put in a little bit of dry rosemary. Uh, when you're substituting the dry, it's about uh, half as much as the fresh. So uh, the recipe calls for a teaspoon, so I did about a half a teaspoon. So salt, pepper, rosemary, and then our wonderful Kiramazi Bavir. You can use any red pepper flake. This one, however, we do love because they take the red pepper, they remove the seeds, so there's no seeds in this one. They uh, grind them up, put them on big, huge trays, and roast it. Then they drizzle it with olive oil, roast it again, and break it up. So sometimes your jar can be a little bit sticky. You just want to shake it up to loosen it. But it has a wonderful red pepper flavor and smokiness. So that is going in there as well. This marinade does have two balsamic vinegars. Balsamic vinegars are sweet. One is the dark balsamic vinegar. That is our tangerine. And that's going to be two tablespoons. The other one is a white balsamic vinegar, Sicilian lemon. So it's a little snappier and crisp. Gives it that nice tang. Both of these vinegars together with on the shrimp will make it just wonderfully succulent. And then we have that heat from the red pepper flakes. So you have this nice, sweet spiciness. So as usual, vinegars go in first. I'm just softening up that dried rosemary, allowing the other spices, uh, the salt and pepper, to incorporate the salt to dissolve. And now in goes the rosemary olive oil. Absolutely beautiful. Smells like fresh rosemary. Just love that container. Oh, thanks. I, I do like these, um, these measuring cups. They're really nice. They're 
Oh, this container. <laughs> Love this container too. Love this container because as you whisk, nothing splatters out and you can really get it um, incorporated and emulsified very quickly. I, I really, really do like this container. And we do sell them at the Olive Scene. This is our large size. We also have a small size. What's great is if you don't use all of the um, marinade or the dressing that you make, you can serve a table side and people can add more if they like. Okay, so that is our marinade for the shrimp. Here is my shrimp. I have one pound. They're nice sized. Okay, and we're going to get that on there. In this case, this whole amount is going on. I'm going to turn it over. I chose this shrimp recipe because it uses the tangerine balsamic vinegar as well as the quinoa salad uses the tangerine balsamic vinegar. So I'm carrying that over. Sometimes you may not want to have both those flavors. If I was going to keep this marinade and um, cook it down and make a sauce and add it, I would not probably use the quinoa salad with the tangerine because, again, that would be a little bit too much. But this is just going to marinate it, so it's not going to have a whole lot on there. Okay, so we're going to let that set aside. And if anybody has questions along the way, feel free to type it up and we'll get it answered. Please do. I'll try and answer everything. So, the shrimp is marinating. We're going to move on to the quinoa. When I said I was going to make quinoa salad, a couple people at the store said, I really don't like quinoa. You know, it can be a little bitter and it can be a little musty. So I'm going to give you a couple tips. Number one, you want to rinse the quinoa. I am using a tri-colored quinoa. And you can see it's very, very fine. So when you rinse it, don't use this one because it will all end up in your sink. Use something very fine. And um, this did hold one cup. And I had that in there. Rinsed it really, really well. That helps take the bitterness out. As far as the mustiness goes, that's where our vinaigrette comes in. We're going to add a nice bright vinaigrette that is going to um, just bring out the nuttiness of the quinoa. So into the pot, on the recipe there's two versions of, uh, two ways of making quinoa. I'm going to tell you both of them real quick. So first one was two cups of water came to a boil with the salt and pepper in the water out of the quinoa, let it come back to a boil and turn it down to a simmer. Five minutes and time it. Turn off the stove and cover it. There's still going to be liquid in there. And then just after about 10 minutes, come and do not stir it. Tip the pot. If there's any liquid, put the lid back on and let it sit. And that's what I did for this version. The nice thing about that is you only have to watch it at the first boil. So it takes about a minute or two um, once you put the quinoa in for it to come back to a boil, turn it down to a simmer, wait five minutes, put the lid on, turn off the heat, and then you can go do other things because you want this to cool. What is happening at that point, that, um, that simmered water is causing the quinoa to burst. Then um, when you come back, which is what we did right now, we're going to put just a teaspoon to a tablespoon of fresh pressed extra virgin olive oil, and we're just going to toss to fluff the quinoa. I did not use vegetable broth because I am making this into a salad, but you can make quinoa if you're putting it alongside chicken or something else. You can use vegetable broth, you can use chicken broth, you can use beef broth. But I didn't want to uh, muddle up the flavor, so I just used water. And you can see the difference. Where did my quinoa go? That was that. Was that. So it's nice and fluffy. That's how you know it's done. The second way to do quinoa is to the two cups of water to one cup of quinoa. It's always half the amount. Put it in with the salt and pepper. Put it on the heat. When it comes to a boil, you can boil it for 10 minutes. Most of the water will be gone, and you'll see that it has burst. Turn it off. Again, cover it, and put it aside. I tend to do the first one just because it saves me time. I can move on to do other things. Okay, so we're going to finish the salad portion of this, which is the quinoa, which I don't need on the heat. Okay, so I have the quinoa. That's ready to go. And it's been fluffed with the olive oil. That olive oil also adds that nice fresh greenness, which helps with that kind of musty flavor of the, um, of the quinoa. Okay, so we're going to move on to making the vinaigrette for the quinoa. Same thing. A little bit of salt. 
Nice grinding of pepper, about a half a teaspoon of each for this. I don't need this quinoa anymore. In this case, we're going to put in a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. And remember, Dijon mustard is an emulsifier. It acts to hold the oil and vinegar together. And this wonderful um, mustard flavor, which will add to the balsamic vinegar and the oil, will also add to the flavor of the quinoa, which is what we're looking for. So the mustard is in there, the salt and pepper is in there, vinegar goes first, and this is three tablespoons of the tangerine balsamic vinegar. In this case, we are not um, using any Sicilian lemon, just tangerine. So this is the finish for the quinoa. Okay, so the Dijon mustard is incorporated. And now this is the next thing that I really like about this. This has a nice heavy bottom, so I can drizzle slowly. Because in this case, I do want this emulsified. I don't want it to come apart or break up or separate, all those things. Okay, nice little vinaigrette. Here we go. Look how fast that emulsified. It's nice and thick. I'm going to show you. I am going to, as I always do when I dress a salad, you can see how nice and thick it is. Look at that, how, how quick it emulsified. I'm going to put half and taste. Even though this calls for the whole thing, I'm going to start with half. Because um, if I want to add more over the shrimp, since I'm adding shrimp to this, I'm going to turn it over gently. The quinoa is nice and fluffy, which is what we want. So this can be your side dish once we add the other components. Just a little bit more. I just want a little drizzle left so we can finish that shrimp off nicely. So remember, these are nice and bright and fresh. And that, again, is going to make this quinoa. We want the quinoa to be nutty. Um, the white quinoa has burst, so it's nice and tender. And then the um, dark quinoa stays a little bit crisper, which is really nice. They have those different textures. Okay. So if I was going to make this just as a side salad, I'm going to show you the two ways I would do it. Quinoa has some really nice nutrients, so it is nice to have. Okay, quinoa is ready. Uh, into that, we're going to put, I did, um, this has a bunch of scallions, and you know, there's lots of different, this was about four scallions, and I went down just up to the white part of the scallion. Toasted almonds, and toast them. It makes a world of difference to have them toasted. And that's about a half a cup. And then the oranges. So you can use blood oranges. You can use mandarin, uh, mandarin oranges. Um, these were two of those little sweetie oranges, and that was a cup. If I'm doing this just as a side salad, I would probably even go up to two cups. And also, I would cut them in half, so it's a nice bite size instead of the whole thing. But for our purposes today, I'm going to put the whole in there so you can get a good visual of it. Just going to toss that gently. There we go. This could be it. This could be your, your nice little side salad to have um, next to some grilled pork chops, some fish on the grill, um, pan seared, anything, which is what we're going to do with the shrimp. And I guess if you're grilling, you're, you're a diehard because it is cold out there. Um, so that is ready to go. The other way that you can serve this, I'm trying to take some of it out to do this, is on some nice greens. If you don't want a whole concentration of quinoa, that's not your thing, but you like to have that um, additional nutrients from the quinoa plus the texture, you can add it to some greens. These greens are uh, local, which I definitely suggest, Buckeye Blend. 
I know Lettuce Heads is another local one where you can get local winter lettuces. Really try to uh, support local and sustainable. We like that. So you could add some of this quinoa to the greens. I'm just going to do a couple spoons and make a beautiful, beautiful green salad with the quinoa. Add some more dressing on there if you'd like, and that is ready to go and gorgeous and delicious. So we are going to make this more of a dinner. So we're going to add, I'm going to move it aside so you can see. So we're going to do the shrimp. We're going to pretend that that shrimp has marinated for up to an hour. An hour is kind of a lot. Uh, I don't think you need that much. Again, you don't want the shrimp to get too soft, but it is wonderfully marinated. That is great. So we're going to get our pan heated up here. And we're going to use this wonderful Frantoyo Lachino. I wanted to show you, I think I did, how you can see how green that oil is. And everybody loves seeing that green oil. And you know what that tells you about this oil? That it's beautiful and that's all. Because the color of an extra virgin olive oil does not actually lend to being more nutritious or less nutritious. One of our gold medal winners, which is Cortina, is um, its nickname is the Golden Lion. It's beautifully gold, and it's an incredibly big, bold oil. So this does not tell you whether an oil is bolder or has more flavor or anything. This just happens to be the color of those olives, and that color, of course, is um, coming right through to the oil. Some, some olives are greener in flesh than others, and that's why you get the greener oil. But it is very green. It's very delicious, too. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, this Frantoyo Lucino, it has a wonderful balance of fruitiness and boldness, which doesn't always happen in a bold oil. You don't get some high fruitiness in bold oils, um, but this one does. It has a nice little fruitiness to it. It's also very creamy, which people tend to like. It has a wonderful pepper back bite, which we all look for. That pepper back bite that I want to remind you is not true pepper. So when you're tasting it by itself, you may get that sensation, but when you cook with it, you're not going to get that. So you still want to add pepper as you're cooking. Should have probably heated this up before. It's going to take just a second. The reason why I can use this in the bottom of this pan when I'm searing the shrimp is because it is fresh pressed and it is very high quality. Um, everyone that thinks there's that uh, extra virgin olive oils or olive oils have a low smoke point, that is old or adulterated or uh, very what we call tired oil. And it, the smoke point will um, will lower. But on a fresh pressed extra virgin olive oil, you can use it for pan searing. You can use it for braising. It has a wonderful high smoke point. Okay, we're getting there. I can feel it. Should have heated up our eggs there. Sorry about that. Okay, any questions? Anything coming through? Not as of yet, Not but as if yet. anybody okay. has one, feel free to type it in. Yep. Lots yep. of hearts and thumbs up. Thanks, for everybody, for joining. If you're going to make this shrimp in the summertime, one of the things you can do is just after you've marinated these, um, you know, as the shrimp is kind of half circular, put a skewer through them. Put them on a skewer with a little bit of space between them and just lay them on the grill. Two minutes on each side. When you pan sear the shrimp, um, you want them to get to a pink color. It should take only about five minutes. Turn them over um, halfway through. We're going to do about a tablespoon of oil. A little more, but we're getting there. I'm just going to do a couple of them so you can see so I don't hold everybody up. The marinade is, um, again, that sweet with the Sicilian lemon vinegar mixed with the tangerine vinegar and a rosemary oil. It's a great combination. If you like this marinade, don't just do shrimp. Use it for chicken. Use it for pork chops. And use that same marinade recipe and change the flavor of the oil or change the flavor of the vinegar and get a brand new flavor. So if I don't use the wild rosemary oil and instead I use harissa oil, I'm going to have a really spicy shrimp. Is there something you can use instead of mustard, Anne, as an emulsifier? There is. Um, you can use, obviously, mayonnaise, which is emulsified. You can use uh, cheese. 
you can use egg. Though if you use egg, you definitely want to make sure it's pasteurized so that um, you're not using raw egg. But those are things that even um, some um, uh, yogurt will help pull the oil and vinegar together. Okay, I think we're probably close to being hot enough. Give me one more second. Mm -hmm. Tongs. And for those looking for the recipes, they are pinned right to the live feed here. Not quite. But we're going. The, the tangerine and the lemon, again, on the shrimp, just bring out that flavor of the shrimp. It's, it's something you're going to love. And this is so quick and easy. You can have the... Um, you get home from work, toss the shrimp, have the marinade already ready to go. Toss the shrimp in, go get everything else ready. And um, five minutes and you can sit down and eat. This would be great on some pasta. It would be great um, with some uh, rice. Not just the quinoa, but it's really nice with the quinoa. I like it a lot. It smells incredible. Oh my goodness. And so you want the shrimp to be pink. You can see they're gray. These have been deveined, and just the tails are on, which is really nice. Um, and when they are cooked through, it takes about two minutes aside. They will be nice, bright pink, and no little gray bits. That's the key. It does not take long. The tails are already turning pink. And then, of course, when they're done, you have to get them onto the salad before people pick them up by the tails and just eat them. Dana says, sounds delicious. Thank you. I wish you were here to smell it. Smell good, <laughs> too. So the great thing about the olive scene is the number of flavors that we do have. So... Come in and taste and try, mix and match. Some of the craziest combinations that our customers have tried have become incredible favorites. Um, I know my mom is, whenever she's in the store and she gets people to try the Persian lime oil <laughs> with the espresso dark balsamic vinegar, they're converts because it's delicious. It's delicious. You gotta think outside the box and taste it, try it, um, mix the two together when you're at the olive scene before you take it home. So you can know if it's a flavor that you're gonna like. And then when you get it home, mix and match it with the other oils that you have. You can use one recipe, just like this one, change up the flavor of the oil, change up the flavor of the vinegar, and have a brand new recipe again and again and again. And these are one more minute and they're done. We're located in Rocky River, Chagrin Falls, Vermilion, and Strongsville, but we do have online ordering available if you are not local to one of those stores. Mm -hmm. Also, now that it's winter time, everyone's looking for something fun to do. We do tasting parties. So bring in 10 friends, give us a call, we'll get you scheduled, and we'll do a uh, traditional tasting, go through all kinds of oils and vinegars. We'll put out appetizers for everybody to taste. It's a lot of fun. So gather up at least 10 friends, give us a call, and come in for a tasting. Okay, we've got our shrimp. I didn't do all of them. I just did a couple. You can see they're nice and pink. They're going to go on the salad. going to be fabulous. Okay, I've got the nice bit of protein in there. You also do this if you wanted it more savory. You could do this with our garlic oil. And of course, that shrimp with garlic is lovely. And here we are. So, once you make this shrimp, you're going to want to make this shrimp again and again and again with lots of different flavors. Um, it's quick, it's easy, the directions are there. Any questions that you have, email them to us. We will get back to you either through Facebook or through our email, which is info at theolivescene.com. Hope you enjoyed it. Looking forward to next month's Facebook Live where we're going to do a dinner for Valentine's Day. So join me then. Enjoy the shrimp and quinoa. If you haven't tried quinoa, give it a try. You're going to love it with the citrus vinaigrette. It makes a world of difference. Again, any questions, 
email us. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.